Introductions to us, uh, we are Three Electric, Sarah Brahma. This one is a Malaysia owned company. <laughs> uh, it is the first company in Malaysia to have a, a manufacturing license given by MIT to assemble a full range of uh, EV uh, electric vehicle products in Malaysia. So, currently, our, our kilang is in the uh, Balakong Jaras. And we have a 250 acres of land in uh, Gerling Pahang where it will be uh, our uh, 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 plan for our uh, electric vehicles uh, productions. And um, for Trinectric, though we are making the electric vehicle, but we are not positioned us as an uh, electric uh, vehicle manufacturer. Uh, as from the previous speakers, we know there is two components that we have to resolve. One is on the energies, energies part, and the other one is on the smart, uh, smart mobility. Okay, so we are pushing us as a, a, a one-stop solution provider for a greener community. Um, currently, we have uh, three main uh, product categories. Uh, the first one is uh, the e-bike, uh, which is uh, branded as a T70 and T90. Uh, it is powered by a life bulb of a bat a lithium ion battery, uh, not the NMC type, okay, for safety reasons. Okay. So with this uh, bike, uh, it can be uh, run uh, with uh, 120 kilometers drive. Uh, distance and uh, this uh, bike actually we are using intensively for last mile logistics uh, delivery. In fact, uh, we are all has a uh, uh, e hantaran or uh, in English uh, it's called e delivery. Uh, we're going to deploy six thousand uh, uh, the e ride to provide the uh, delivery service uh, to uh, to corporate and uh, to uh, individual. Okay. And uh, next uh, is the TMD7. Okay, this product is uh, the first uh, uh, micro e lorry uh, in Malaysia. It actually already launched uh, with VTA approved. Uh, it's for last mile logistic and delivery. Uh, currently, we are working with uh, Post Malaysia and uh, Malacca uh, Tourist uh, Board uh, to. Uh, to have this uh, uh, e truck for their their services. Okay, uh, then uh, we are actually in progress to VTA with a JPJ uh, on the P Vantage. This is the passenger car EV, uh, a compact car where I can uh, proudly to say this is the first affordable uh, electric vehicle to be for Malaysian. Okay. And uh, this is tentatively to be released uh, December 2018, depending on the JPJ uh, uh, VTA uh, uh, schedule. And uh, recently we attended the, uh, the, uh, the Green Tech Organizer uh, 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 Seminar, uh, where there is uh, mentioned that the uh, government low carbon master plan, the last piece to stick with the uh, public transportation for city uh, a greener uh, community, this will be the last mile solutions for the public to get to the uh, public transportation. Okay. okay, okay. So let me talk about the uh, EV market limitation in Malaysia. Probably not just in Malaysia, but maybe the whole world. Okay, we have uh, three problems. First, EV high uh, price point. Everybody when think about EV, expensive, expensive. Okay, uh, Leaf, the Nissan Leaf costs about 150k ringgit. I bet uh, most of the 80 or 90 percent of Malaysia are uh, not able to afford this uh, car. Okay. So second is the lack of infrastructures. Just now, the panel has a lot of uh, background for, for uh, 
uh, battery. So infrastructures, it means the charging stations. This is the limitation, okay? With 50 registered EV last year, so I don't see, uh, as a businessman, uh, unlikely uh, a smart businessman will really go ahead and invest in the charging stations with just 50 EV, okay? So this is a big issue. The third is, until now, that is not really a successful story to tell on the EV, okay? Uh, even in China, it is built based on the, a large uh, incentive and subsidy on the battery. 50% of the cost of the vehicle is by battery. And in China, uh, the battery is almost free. That's why uh, one million cells uh, can China can be made with this uh, great subsidy. But we have to thanks to the China government anyway. Okay, so the expectations on the future smart mobility this is uh, the three electric uh, point of view. We believe our future uh, electric vehicle, it must be a four wheels with one brain, okay? In the past, it is a four wheel with one engine, okay? Now we look at rather it's a four wheels with one brain, which is smarter, okay? And second, you need to solve at least a, a, a reasonable uh, a cruise distance. Okay, we are not talking about uh, 500 km, 600 km of cruise distance, but it's reasonable. What do you mean by reasonable? Okay, probably 200, 300 km. Okay, uh, I'll throw two, three questions to the, to the audience. First question is, uh, how often you drive your, com how often you commute in the city? Uh, uh, what is the, the commute distance? Okay, this is the first question. <laughs> okay. The second question is how often you travel from city A to city B per year? Okay, the second question. The third question is how often you drive more than 100 km per hour in the city? Okay, so if you really go and think about it, we know, okay, our, our EV, instead of focus, focusing on the performance, why not we think from other way? Okay, yes, performance is important, but how to make your car to be blended with the driver daily routine and their driving habits is the thing that we wish to solve. Okay, that's come with the smart work. Okay, so that's why to do this, first the car needs to be get connected. We talk about the autonomous driving. Okay, before we go for autonomous driving, first, we need to ensure the car is connected. Second is the infrastructures need to be connected. With the car and the infrastructures connected, then only we have a luxury to talk about the autonomous driving. This is for the public safety and worriness. Okay, people is worried about, uh, uh, about this uh, uh, autonomous driving, so, we as a manufacturer and a solution provider, we need to give a reasonable and a real problem solving, okay? So for us, connect the car, our first step. Fourth, the most important is the public accepted price point, okay? We know green technology, low carbon footprint is a very great master plan to save our next generations. But, uh, with current EV price, this is for rich people, okay? It is not for ordinary people, definitely, 100% sure, okay? So we need to invite ordinary people to join this master plan. So to do this, we, as a manufacturer with, with a, a, a good vision, we will need to create a, a EV uh, solutions with acceptable price point, okay? This is our vision. And we are doing it now. And believe me, next year when we release it, we will give you a very surprise price point. Okay. Then next is uh, revolutionize the drive in uh, vehicle habits. Okay. So to cut it short, okay. Our technology developments golden rule. We never invent the wheels unless it is a disruptive technology. Okay. This is what we focus. Powertrain, DC aircon. IoT telemetric AI, or uh, in vehicle contained developments, charging stations, 
Solid fuel cell range extender. This is uh, related to uh, uh, a doctor range uh, about the hydrogen. Okay, we have a solution for that. Okay, as a range booster. Okay, this is work together with the lithium ion battery. Okay, so it is a mixed mode. Okay, so the last one is the graphene technology used for the EV storage. So powertrain, we know 90% uh, of the uh, EV powertrain is based on the PMSM induction model, but this is not designed at first place for mobility purpose. So we are actually looking at a new uh, new model uh, architecture. It is called a planetary gear model. This is what we uh, collaborate with a Korean company. Okay, we believe if this uh, gear model actually will rock the uh, EV model industry with a 50% efficient boost. <coughs> okay, what do you mean by 50% boost? Right now, let's say 200 km drive distance with 50%. That means uh, we can extend the drive distance to 300 km. <coughs> okay, so with new model, come with a new controller. So it is a completely redistribute the uh, powertrain industry. Okay, <coughs> and we have to combine with uh, a new uh, devices no longer the IGBT, okay. Since the new architecture, we have a luxury now to develop the controller with a GAN or silicon carbide device, okay. This will be done in Malaysia with a collaboration with uh, Sutera, okay. And uh, next will be the IoT telemetric and the AI technology, okay. Why we need AI? Okay, we need AI to enable low carbon footprint. We will have a, a, a AI uh, a, a powered uh, a road planner, okay? Like what Mr. Arif says, okay? We know the traffic congestion before we go out to the highway, okay? Next is the road safety and passenger safety. Later at the uh, exhibition hall, we have our e-bike installed with a face ID recognition, okay? We know face, face ID recognition is uh, for mobile, or uh, for cell phone, actually can be for Cars, especially we are the uh, uh, fleet management, we need to protect our asset. So face ID recognitions to protect us, protect the passenger and protect, protect the drivers. Okay, so it's for asset protection as well. And you reduce the insurance and the cost reductions. Finally, it's the public safety concern. We have one a big uh, program called eTaxi. We plan to deploy 6,000 uh, electric vehicles in Malaysia throughout the major uh, west, uh, uh, major cities in West Malaysia. So 6,000 vehicle, we can turn it to become a police patrol car. Okay, because we will install four uh, wide angle camera. It's actually for uh, for, for, for semi, uh, auto, uh, semi uh, 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 autonomous drive purpose, but we can turn it to become a police patrol. Okay, during the criminal, uh, 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 I mean, is to solve a criminal problem. Okay, so and next, the last one. Okay, to cut short, this is what I want to mention: new generation on the AI form. Okay, my background is on the uh, AI semiconductors. So uh, to cut it short, we know uh, uh, what is that? The uh, AlphaGo beating uh, uh, the China uh, uh, champion on the chest, but never people really think about it. Yeah. Actually, the AlphaGo consumes 2 million watt of power. Human? 20 watt. So it's a long way to go. It's a not fair game. Yeah. So recently, in August 27, there is a competition. The Open AI versus the Human Dota 2. Okay? 5 on 5. What you guess? Human beat the Open AI. So this is why uh, we need to really uh, go for a low power AI. We know we're going to use intensively on the AI uh, for, autonom for, for, for automotive industry. So without to reduce the, 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 the power consumption on, the, uh, on our AI uh, framework, it's, 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 it's not green, okay? So here we, we are actually investing in uh, uh, what we call the uh, OSPAC-based neural network. It's a neuromorphic uh, uh, AI. So uh, we are collaborating with a US uh, lab, uh, like here uh, in UT, University of Tennessee, and the uh, national, uh, the Orange Nation, right? So we go into uh, uh, from top down to re to to, to restructure the AI frameworks to still to work automotive uh, industry. Okay, I think uh, that's all for my talk. Okay, thank you.
All right, thank you so much, Mr. Cage, for uh,